Hello, Mr. Jacobson here. And somebody had a request uh, for help on question number eight. And so I have it set up here, uh, how I solve question number eight. And what we had was a sled that had a couple bricks on it. And then we have a rope uh, that's being pulled 21 degrees to the horizontal. And the sled's gonna be pulled a distance of 20.4 meters. And so we are looking for the tension in the rope. Uh, what we know is the mass of the sled is 18.5 kilograms. And so to find the weight of the sled, I just took, and bricks, I just took 18.5 times 9.8 to give us the 181 newtons. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.5. So then what we have is um, the sled is pulled at a constant speed. If it's pulled with a constant velocity, then the X component of the tension force has to be equal to the friction. If they weren't equal, if friction was larger than the X component, then the sled would slow down. If the X component of the tension was greater than friction, then the sled would be accelerating. It would be speeding up. So what I'm gonna do is come up with an expression for friction and for horizontal, the horizontal uh, component of the tension. And so we know friction equals mu times the normal force. And the normal force, because the rope is pulled at an angle, there is, there is a TY component here that is, that plus the normal force has to equal the weight of the sled. And so then I have this expression right here. The normal force is the weight of the sled minus the horizontal component of the tension. And then the horizontal component is T sine theta. So here's our final equation for friction. The Tx component is a lot simpler to come up with. It's simply the tension times the cosine theta, and that will give us the X component of the tension. Then what we do is we said that the horizontal component of the tension has to be equal to the friction. So we just derived these two equations up here. And now it's just a matter of, of rearranging the equation and then solving it algebraically. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this to both sides and I end up with T cosine plus mu T sine theta equals mu FW, which is the weight of the sled. Um, then I pulled the T out and so I have cosine theta plus mu sine theta equals mu times the weight of the sled. Then I'm gonna divide both sides by what's in the parentheses here. And I end up with this equation here, mu times weight divided by cosine theta plus it's kind of hard to read, but mu k sine theta. And then I plug the numbers in. 0. 0.5 times 181 newtons divided by, in parentheses, cosine 21 plus 0. 0.5. Again, uh, that says mu. It's 0. 0.5 sine 21. And I end up getting 81.3 newtons. So that's part A. And part A is the difficult part of this problem. The second part of the problem was to what is, if the sled is pulled 20.4 meters at a constant velocity, how much work is done uh, by the person pulling the sled? And to do that, we use, get this to move where I want it to. We simply use the work equation, which is work equals force times distance pulled times cosine theta. And the force is the tension which we just calculated to be 81.3. X is 20.4 meters and the angle is 21 degrees. So we end up with 1,548 joules. Um, the book wanted the answer in kilojoules, so I just rounded it to 1.55 kilojoules. And then because the sled isn't speeding up or slowing down, it's moving with a constant velocity, um, it's not gaining any energy. And if it doesn't gain any energy, then there's no net work. 
And um, therefore, the work done by the person has to be equal and opposite to the work done by friction. So the two values are equal. Um, so again, it's 1.55 kilojoules. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please request again if you need more help with a particular assignment.